Is Queen Charge Twin Hogs the best Queen Charge army in Legends League at the moment? Well, if you watch today's video with live attacks on stream from Cadiel, you'd have to think so, because he got 295 and he made it look easy. Cadiel is having an insane season in Legends League at the moment. He's been just outside the top 10 the entire season. In fact, if it wasn't for stars having like five accounts in the top 10, Cadiel would be in the top 10 himself. Um, interesting th thought to put out there. Do you guys think being able to have multiple accounts inside the top 200 is a good thing? For instance, right, you could be 30th in the world this season, but you're actually individually like the 10th best player, but it's players like Abdul Hardy, Stars, Klaus, um, you name it, Bernal as well, who kind of dominate the top of the leaderboard. Anyway, back to the point, Cadiel is just outside the top 10. It is the second last day of the season. He reset above 6,200 trophies. Let's see how he goes today. I'm really hoping he does well. Coming in with the Queen Charge Twin Hogs. Probably the best Queen Charge army at the moment, honestly. It's insanely powerful. Uh, yes, Queen Charge Lalo is strong, but there's just something simple about how you deploy the Super Hogs and the regular Hogs in this army that make it very easy to replicate. Now, unfortunately, Cadiel's healers are getting roasted by the Multi Inferno. They're half health. And look, this Poison Tower could actually finish them off. Queen ability goes off as well. You hate to see that. Can we get the poison tower to go off for an archer? No. Uh-oh. See, the pro... Ooh! The poison tower did not shoot at the queen, so the healers might not go in range of this poison tower. We kind of need that to be the case. Otherwise, they are in a lot of trouble. So we got the super hogs coming in first. Keep in mind, you start with the super hogs, then you use the other hogs, so the eight remaining hogs, as kind of uh, flanking attackers is the best way to put it. Sorry, I completely blanked there. Using the blimp, but there's an invis tower and the freeze comes in late on the invis tower. We freeze again. There's a defensive king. The yetis are not shooting the town hall. The yetis are... Sh oh, wow. They're going for the king, but the raged yeti mites take down the town hall. The warden is not following our hogs or the RC. Our RC still has her ability, and I think we get this. RC ability goes off, hits that last expo, the headhunter's coming in. Headhunter finds the NATO. Oh no, our RC is going to go down. 37 seconds. I think that's enough time. Headhunter goes down. The king's only 1 HP. A yeti is still alive? That must be the yeti that we had in our army comp. We got a couple of barbs over there, and yeah, this is going to be a triple as long as the warden doesn't... Shoot the wall, which he shouldn't. Warden! I thought they meant to fix this about the warden. He wasn't meant to shoot meaningless walls anymore. Alas, the warden's as dumb as ever, but Cadiel is OP as ever. Cadiel versus a very interesting box base here. Uh, this is just the style you kind of see in Legends League at the moment. I kind of hate it, but... This is what the meta is. Guess I can't complain too much. This is a really nice Yeti Bomb, though. Anytime you can get a CC pull with the Yeti Bomb, it's good value. But on top of that, we've activated a Rage Tower and gotten a Scattershot and a Ground Bow. And the Monolith? What? There is no way he planned to get that Monolith. I refuse to believe that. Look at where he landed the Yeti Bomb here. And that Monolith all the way over there goes down. But this might be why he came from this side, because the Monolith... Obviously, one tile closer to the bottom side than the top side. Queen's going to go in. You see these really awkward open walls, which make it basically impossible to wall break, but funnels the queen perfectly, and she goes in nicely. Going to get this, and we have a perfect wall break on the, this expo. In fact, look, I, I hate jinxing, but Cadiel's got everything he needs already in the first minute. To triple this base. I mean, his king's going to get rid of the enemy king. This queen should almost certainly get the town hall. In fact, if he gets lucky here, the queen should go for the eagle as well. He just needs to use his spells on the queen. That's all right. He'll just pop the... Not perfect invis and rage. I thought... Because he's deploying his hogs from the top side. I thought he forgot about his queen. Okay, looks like the queen will not go for the eagle. That's unfortunate. That's all right. We have actually already used the Warden ability, which I don't really like. I would It would have been much better to use the Skeleton spells 
to distract the uh, scatter shot because the skeleton spell is not really doing much to stop the RC. Oh no, we let our queen die. Oh no, that was that was not the plan, Cadiel. It's all right. This is still wrecked. We've got another freeze spell. The hogs are trickling in, and our RC is full health. She's always so clutch in this army because the hogs do a perfect job tanking for her. You use, like, hybrid, for instance, and the RC can take shots because with hybrid, generally, the hogs go down pretty quickly and the miners clean up the rest. But the problem with the miners, they go underground, the RC gets targeted, and she can't clean up the base. But when it comes to hog armies... Those hogs are constantly tanking for her, and she can always clean up the base. The hogs don't have to live throughout. They just got to live long enough for her to finish off the base, and this base got crushed. I hear the flame flinger. Where on earth did it get deployed? There it is, hidden on the left side of the base. Where's the queen going to come from, though? I assume with this sort of flame flinger, we're going to try and charge the town hall. So looking to get rid of the wizard tower here. Oh, one of the wall breakers was smart, the other one was not. Okay, we're not looking forward to get... I thought we'd try and get rid of the whiz tower, but no. We're just going to kind of hope the queen goes the right way. We are using the flame flinger on one side, so there is a more likely side that the queen goes, but it's not confirmed at any uh, by any means. It looks like she will go that way, though. Respect to Cadiel, he understands the queen. Now we use the king on delay. It was the cannon was the real difference here. No cannon on the bottom side. There is a cannon on the top side, and that pulls our queen. I expect a rage to come out. Nice hog. Look at that hog. Activates the poison tower. Now, our queen will stand in the poison. So, you know, it's not like it's getting no value. But the healers are not in the poison, which is incredibly important when you're charging two multi-infernos. Because chances are... One of these multi-infernos will get a lock on our healers. It also helps in case there's a tornado there. The balloon and the hog could have pulled the tornado to make sure our queen is not pulled into the town all poison. The king is just going to get that scatter down. We did not do a great job of protecting our... Uh, our flame flinger. Did anyone see... I saw there was a mortar down there, but I didn't think the mortar would 1v1 the flame flinger. I hear hogs coming in. We got the super hogs on the right. There you go. One multi locks onto the healers. That shows how important it was to activate that poison tower early. Here comes the bomb tower. If we know anything about Cadiel, I expect a warden pop. No. Oh, this warden's not very well placed though. Not Cadiel's fault, but the warden was like... There was like four hog... Uh, I think it was the riders and maybe even the actual hog themselves, that the warden just was not inside the range of, and they get picked off really, really quickly. Our queen has lost all their healers. Queen, yes, yeah, she takes down the defensive queen. That's huge. We still got our RC ability and a freeze, and that should be enough to get through this last comp. <gasps> Two skeleton traps. Oh, no. Oh, no, surely not. We've got so many hog riders running around here. Surely they can finish it off, and yeah, the diggy gets the job done. Beautiful hit there from Cadiel. Still not sure if the Flame Flinger got in exactly what he wanted, but the Queen set up for the charge and the Hogs was beautiful. A ring base, the first one of the day. Now, this is his fifth attack coming in here. I thought we would have found a ring by now, so obviously we have now. That is a very interesting Flame Flinger. I don't mind what he's expecting this Flame Flinger to get. I just thought he would have put it slightly lower because he wants the Flame Flinger to go in and get not only the air defense here, but also this ground bow. I guess our queen can get it. But then, I mean, are we just expecting this Flame Flinger to get like four buildings? There's a monolith there. That's very unusual. Now, there isn't a lot of Flame Flinger value on this base. But even just placing it here would have been better. Get rid of single Inferno, damage the eagle. Yeah, you place it straight on a multi-mortar, but... I mean, it's not like the Flame Fling is going to live forever on the other side anyway. Now we've got the King coming in the bottom. His job? To get rid of this ground bow and the defensive King. And he's going to do a fantastic job of that. Poison Tower goes off. That's a very sus wall break. Wait, what? What? We've run out of wall breaks? That is a... So the wall breaker was done there, but that is a user error. He definitely should have waited... For that uh, expo to go down. Now, thankfully, the Flame Flinger has opened up a corner of the wall. And the Yetis are going to come out now. This gets very interesting. 
you never want to have yetis anywhere near your queen charge because they can take the healers very easily and look our queen's not taking a lot of damage at the moment i would not be surprised to see a healer swap and there we go, the healer swap. The warden ability goes off. I didn't even notice the super hogs are coming on the bottom side. The healers are switched to the hogs. Ah, oh, my word. This is a mess. We freeze the multi, but the hogs are nowhere near that multi yet. Now we freeze it. That's a better time freeze, but definitely was slightly early before. The yetis are actually still alive. That's quite ridiculous. Now, RC's taking a lot of damage. Notice, that's the difference when you send... The RC through the Town Hall versus not through the Town Hall. The RC will take more damage. But this is still a triple. My word out of that triple. The Flame Flinger got like nothing, but the Yeti's got value. That's not something you often associate with the Flame Flinger. Flame Flinger is like, doesn't really matter what's inside it. Normally doesn't get any value, but Cadiel maximizes the value here. Gets that Monolith down and that's a GG. My word. Cadiel had to do a bit of thinking there. You notice it's 256, so he was not sure on where he was going to start this attack. Now, we're going to start with the Yeti Bomb, but the Yetis will run out. Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming. Surprised he didn't just put in a Headhunter on delay to help get rid of that RC. I guess it wasn't. No, it was necessary. Yeah, that would have been worth it, that one Headhunter. Because then the Yetis could have gone in. Ah, uh, no, they would have walked out of the base, I lie. I understand what he was trying to do. This multi-inferno here is going to burn his healers. So he's trying to delay placing all of his healers to keep them out of range of the multi. But like, it is not worth popping your queen ability for that. Oh, the queen is not going in. This is not being the greatest start by Cadiel here. I, I, unless the king gets like everything down here. Nah. Die, Wallbreaker! Oh my word, it did. Wait, she's gonna come back for the town hall here. But he's gonna have to freeze. Invis is actually even better. We also got the poison tower activated. Was that a balloon? And we've got a great time to deal with this CC. Hold up, we're put we're pulling this back together. Great balloon gets rid of some red bombs. Obviously, don't want them going off on our queen. The Phoenix and the King are putting in good work together on the top side. And the Super Hogs are coming from the bottom. Jeez, can he save this? Good rage on the... Oh, the Ice Golem froze the healers. Because the healers were too close to the Queen. Look at the Warden though. He's so... He is so bad at actually following troops. Okay, we get something to work there. And I think... Okay, we do use a freeze to keep our queen alive. I'm not sure that's worth it. The queen's going down here. She does get the multi down though, so maybe that's worth it. We've got two headhunters. Wait, the queen's not dead? Hold up, hold up. Wait, we tanked. I don't even know how we tanked for the queen there. I don't know how we did it, but that's going to be a triple. Unless time? Nah, nah, there's plenty of time. Jeez, how did he make that work? That was such a sick save. That wall breaker that went for this wall saved the entire hit. I had no idea where that wall breaker was going. But it goes to the right wall in the end. Oh, wow. Nice job hanging on to that RC ability. I didn't even see the builder hut that was up all the way on the other side of the base. All right. Cadiel coming in here on a... I don't know whether you could... It's not really a teaser base. It's more just like a very weird diamond base. I'm so interested though. Th is this base set up for like this style of attack? Perfect freeze. Now you do need to rage a queen. Obviously he'd rather not do use the rage, but you don't want to use a second freeze. Perfectly done. That's literally perfect because then the invis tower goes off. Because uh, if you just freeze the town and you take it down before it's unfrozen, then the invis tower will not go off. But perfect timing there. That's probably something worth practicing if you're trying to become a pro player. Now, can we get this CC out? This is the problem here. We're about to have four Expos on the Queen. And the CC. Okay, we can get rid of one. 
and the eagle as well. We got to put our king down. Now the flame fling has done pretty good work. It won't take down that multi, but it gets rid of a chunk of the base. That queen ability is going off. Surely. No way she's hanging on. No actual way. Yeah. Okay, that was a manual pop. That was manual. Interesting. Oh, wow. The Yeti's got rid of that, uh, that expo. How kind of them. I'm expecting an extremely early warden ability here. Yep. Exactly that. Negate all this damage. The king's doing solid work on the funnel. I can't see a headhunter in there. Which is a shame. We kind of need it to, you know, deal with uh, that defensive, uh, <laughs> the defensive queen that's burning all our troops up in the core. The RC is very weak. We still got a queen though. And the RC ability. I think this should just be enough. Really well done here from Cadiel. And he's had an insane day. That is six triples today. Six triples of eight attacks. Plus 295. And uh, when this attack finishes up, we'll see where he is on the leaderboard. But I can tell you that he should be 11th in the world if my maths is correct. I mean, this style of base, if you can keep your queen alive, you will always dominate that. Let's open the Legends League leaderboard. And you see Cadiel. Oh, he, he comes in one trophy off the top 10. Look at that. There's like five people within one cup. But yeah, Cadiel having an insane season. There's one day left. Can he finish inside the top 10? And if you want to see more of Cadiel using Queen Judge Twin Hogs, I'll link it on the left. We've got plenty of content of him on the channel.